Hello, and welcome back to the Blooming Journal Live. It's me, Colleen Watson, president of Century Found Publishing, and we are going to continue our series today on the best books of 2023, my version. So it's not the best books that came out in 2023, but the best books I read in 2023. So today's topic is the best academic book for a generalist I read in 2023. So here is one thing you need to know about me, my book Candy. You know, we all have our book Candy. Um, I love it when somebody who is a topic specialist, somebody who really knows their stuff, decides to write a book and take all of that knowledge and make it available to the general reader. Somebody who is curious, but doesn't have years of study, doesn't know some of the, the basics and is willing to take you back through that. So um, Neil deGrasse Tyson has done that. Jamie Lerner has done that. I've read both of their books. Um, Alain de Botton has done that. And this year, my person for that is Sarah Bakewell's Humanly Possible. So this is a book about 700 years of the philosophy known as humanism. Now, philosophy is one of those pie in the sky things. And most people are just like, I don't get it. I don't like it doesn't have anything to do with everyday life. They're navel gazing. And, you know, there can be some truth to the reality that, you know, philosophy is kind of nasal gazing. But philosophy tackles big questions. And if you look at the history of philosophy, really look at it back to, you know, the Plato's and the Socrates and, and you know, the Confucius and, and all of those the questions they were asking were really about things like, what is a good government? What is a good person? And, you know, religion tackles these questions. And these are questions, you know, they were designed at the time to be what we consider self-help. They were trying to help people and societies be better, more just, fairer. What does that look like? How do you create it? That's philosophy. And so what Sarah Bakewell does in this book is talk about humanism, which is a thought, you know, like all philosophy is it kind of, you know, comes back in on itself. But it, what it does is it centers philosophy, not on the pie in the sky ideas, not in ideals, but on humans and human experience and makes us the center of philosophy rather than questions. It's a fascinating read. She has done a lot of different books. I'm currently reading her one, The Existential Cafe. I'm going to not lie. It's, it's a hard go. Existentialism as a, as a idea is a thorny knot of one that's designed not to give you easy answers. So yeah, one of those. But this one is much more approachable, much more accessible. You've heard of all the people in it if you paid any kind of attention to philosophy. It's Humanly Possible by Sarah uh, Bakewell. There's information on it in the show notes. Um, and for those of you looking to, you know, rethink and center your website on you with a blog, do not forget my uh, blog planning workbook, which is available there on my freebies page. Please check it out. Um, if you want to take advantage of my promo and get make an appointment with me by December 8th to talk blogging, 30-minute anything appointment, and no obligation, um, please, there's my calendar. You know the routine. You have to make the appointment by December 8th. The appointment can be for after the first of the year. That's fine, but it has to be made on or before December 8th so that you can get your deal. All right. So thank you so much for joining me. For those of you have been doing it this whole time, thank you so much. For those of you who are book readers and stopped your scroll today, thank you for that. And remember, rock stars, it is never too late to bloom. Have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.